Hey guys, here uh, finally is part one of my video story, which now has a has a team name. Yay! Um, we are Bunzel Centrica. This is a a pack that was made by Anders and um, B Wiggins on PCM Daily, and it's it's a fantastic pack. So thanks to them. Uh, so. Yeah, you've already seen the squad. Um, I tried to put in the. Um, I tried to apply for all the races that you you guys picked. Uh, we got in most of them, but unfortunately for some of you, not all of them. So yeah, we we got rejected from Andalusia and Portugal, which I believe was Schroeder and and Tanga's choices. So sorry guys, we won't be doing those. And we can't do the Brabant Pile and that race in Germany with the incredibly long name that ends Frankfurt. Because they're HC races and we're European, so we can only do HC races that are outside of Europe. That's my bad. I kind of forgot to explain that we were continental. I think some of you thought we'd be pro conti but we're not. We are, however, comfortably the best team in the Continental Tour, so we we should get promoted pretty easily. Uh, so yeah, I'll look at the schedule in a minute. Sponsor objectives. So yeah, um, here's the uh, early season schedule for us. So obviously we've got a couple of nationals first. Then we start our season in New Zealand. We've also got uh, a couple of races in France. Qatar and Mallorca, first sponsor goals. Um, I'm not sure exactly who who's going to get them. I mean, Qatar will be pretty difficult. I like it always is if you haven't got a top sprinter. So we'll have to take our strongest lead out there and see what we can do. Um, then a bit of a gap till Haute-Var, South Africa, as well at the end of the month. Um, and Tanga will stay over there for the South African Nationals. First few days of March are tough. We've got three sponsor goals in three days. So, yeah, um, Van Maxfield, I think, will be going for three dogs. And then races in Italy. Tour de Taiwan. Drenta. Nocare. That one. Some other races. And then Alentejo is the only stage race in late March. So I think it gives us a wide variety of races um, to do. I added a lot of races from English speaking countries, obviously New Zealand, South Africa. I added all the British Premier Calendar, um, some American races, Canadian races. So yeah. Uh I changed the local C D B but for some reason it's just changed the flags to the, the original small ones from the real name database and I've still got these big flags from the French database, which is strange. So yes. Other other season highlights are Trobro Leon, um, the Amgen Tour of California, which is going to be our biggest race of the season. I'm fairly sure that's going to be pretty difficult to get any results there, but we'll give it a go. And Postra, this is a very long race as well. Uh, Tour of Slovenia, the Nationals, obviously, tons of them. Um, CBU Cycling Tour in Romania. It's a fun race. Uh, Valle d'Aosta, which I know a lot of people like. All the mountains. Uh, USA Pro Cycling Challenge, another big race we're doing. Tour of Utah. Um, and yeah, I think that's just about it. And then the Japan Cup at the end, which is another HC race. I think we should be able to get promoted this season. So yeah, um, as for the goals and that, I'm not really that fussed about it. I've left the sponsor goals as they were. Um, I don't, I don't really, can't really bother to change them because they're all quite difficult anyway. Um, we're gonna have to have some pretty good strong performances to get these. I mean, top five at the Tour of California it might be a tad difficult. Stage win at Tour of Britain is definitely realistic. So yeah, I mean, 
we uh, we should be able to do them. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. So Bikili now has a tiny little fag. He's unique. Um, as for the goals, I, I kind of kept them as they were. Changed a couple. Um, but by and large, I left the the uh, rider objectives as they were because they were all right, and uh, we got thirty riders, so we don't, you know, different people can be fit at different times, and it won't matter. Um, I fired all the staff, obviously, we don't need any. Um, so I think the first thing to do is the Australian Time Trial Championships, which Douglas has decent fitness for, but I don't think he's really got a chance um, against the top guys. I think he's 71 time trial, which is decent, but I think he's a bit screwed. Um, so let's 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 see what he can do. Now he's 71 time trial. I think he's got a better chance in the road race, but again, it'll, it'll be difficult for him to to compete with the, the top guys on his own. Um, to sort the equipment out because we've got custom equipment. Here. What wheels should we should we ride with, guys? I'm feeling the Shimano. So I will come back when Douglas sets off. I have no idea what I'm going to do because obviously he's got no one to help him. So you're just going to have to go for it and see what I can do. So yeah, I'll, I'll come back when he sets off. So Douglas has just set off. Um, it's a long wait for him. Uh, minus one on the day. Nothing special, but nothing uh, not too bad either. Uh, at the moment, Cameron Meyer leads Travis Meyer by one second, and Hepburn's another second further back. So. Pretty close. Um, 60 seems okay. It's quite a rise um, in the second half of it. It doesn't look that bad on the profile, but it's quite a, a rise. It's not very steep, but it's quite a long drag uphill. So I'll have to see how he does. Um, you can see the equipment there the helmet and the frame. Obviously, the wheels aren't custom. It's pretty cool, um, and yeah, I guess we'll just wait to see how he does. I'll come back um, as he as he nears the line. So Douglas is uh, getting close to the line now. Two kilometres to go. He's not going particularly quickly here. Um, struggling in the first first, but uh, well, at the first time check, he was way down. But I did pick the pace up a little bit. Um, Maya still leads. It's a Maya 1 2 at the moment, but I think um, Richie Port. I know Rohan Dennis is quickest. But it's going, between, it's going to be between even Dennis, Rogers, and Port for the win. Douglas is getting close to the line now. Don't know what's going on here, to be honest. Very slow. Up to the line. I don't know why this is going so slow. And he goes eighth. It's not too bad. Right, I'm going to work out what's going on here. So here's Richie Port coming to the line now. Just, it's between him and Rohan Dennis. Has he? He's, he had to work five seconds from the uh, first time time check. He doesn't do it. So Rohan Dennis is the Australian time trial champion. Um, Douglas ended up way down in 16th, which I think is a bit disappointing. But, you know. So, yeah, Dennis wins it from Rogers, 
Port, Maya, Maya, Hepburn, Bobbridge, Durbridge, Evans, and Sutherland. Time trial is obviously pretty boring, so not really too much to show in that one. The road race should be a bit more exciting. A bit more exciting. I don't know why it's going so slowly. So, yeah, Doug is 16th, and between McCarthy and O'Grady, a little bit slower than he'd probably want to be. Should be um should be about 20 seconds quicker than that, but oh well. Not a bad start. And obviously, the next race will be all about James Douglas as well in the road race where he should be able to do a little bit better but I doubt they'll let him go in the breakaway so um, that should be that um, and yeah thanks for watching